Hi everyone, I am Casey Knight, and today we will be exploring how to get started with Google Meet. This tool is used to meet with your teacher and classmates virtually. Getting started with Google Meet. So if you're accessing it on a computer, you're just going to type in meet.google.com in your search bar, and it's gonna pull you up to this screen. If you're gonna be using it on an iPad, you'll look at the front screen of your iPad and you're gonna find the app that has the recording device looker. It kind of almost looks like a video camera. When you click that, it's gonna pull you up to this screen as well. Once you're on this screen, you're gonna have two choices. You can either start a new meeting or you can join a meeting. On the iPad, it's gonna have this, instead of being able to enter the code right away, it's gonna say join meeting. When you click that, that's when you're gonna enter the code. And a code is just a fancy word for these variety of letters that your teacher's going to give you. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter our code for our meeting today. This code might also be somebody's name, might be your teacher's name or a nickname of the class. Once you have your code entered, you're gonna hit the button join and it's gonna pull you up to this screen. You're gonna notice a microphone and a camera at the bottom. I would suggest go ahead and turn your microphone off and your camera off before you join the meeting. So go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna hit join now. Once you hit join now, it's gonna pull you up into the meeting place. Right now, there's nobody else in here. If there was, you would be able to see little boxes of people's faces or their camera off screen, depending on what they chose. So once you're in the meeting, you're gonna notice at the bottom of your screen, if you're on a computer or a laptop, you're gonna have some tools that you can use. You already know your microphone. You can turn your microphone on if you wanna share your thinking. And you'll see the little blue squares over here showing that your microphone is on. So if your teacher asks a question and you wanna share your thinking, you're gonna turn that microphone on. You're gonna notice this middle button on the iPad, this button's going to be red the whole time, and that's your button that's going to end your meet call. So when the meeting's over, you would press that button. This next button over here is how you turn your camera on and off. Some teachers prefer your camera on the whole time. Some people want it off the whole time. So whatever they prefer, that's how you do that. Another cool feature is this raise your hand feature. So when you click that, it's going to put a little hand in the corner so your teacher will know if you have a question or you wanna share your thinking. This will help prevent you from interrupting somebody that's talking because when we're online and we try to talk at the same time, there's a lot of confusion that goes on. So make sure you use that hand raise. Once you've shared your thinking or you're done, it also, it'll say lower hand, you just press it again and it'll go away. So if you wanted to share your thinking again, you press the hand, when you're done, you press the hand off. Another cool thing that you can do is you can do in-call messages or you can do your chat box. It's the same thing. On a desktop or computer, you're gonna go up here. It kind of looks like a speech bubble. You'll click it and that's where you'll type your message. So maybe your teacher asks what your favorite color is. So you'll go ahead and type your favorite color in and then you can either hit the enter button on your keyboard or you can press this little blue arrow and it will send the message. On the iPad, it looks very similar, except instead of accessing it up here through the speech bubble, there'll be a little circle at the bottom of your screen that has three circles. You'll click that and it'll pop up another box and it'll be called in call messages. You'll click there and this same box will pop up where you can type your message. So just to practice again, so let's say your teacher now asks what your favorite food is. So you're gonna type your favorite food. Once you're happy with what you typed, you can either hit enter or you can hit the little blue arrow and it'll say send message and you'll go ahead and send it. So when you're in the chat, not only are you able to share your thinking, but you're gonna be able to see your classmates thinking as well and maybe even your teachers. So when you're finished with that, you'll just hit the X. So now let's say that our meeting is over and it's time to leave the meeting. You're gonna go ahead and access your button that has the phone in it. On the iPad, the circle is going to be red. On here, it's white. So we're done. We're gonna go ahead and press that button. You're gonna hit end call and that will be the end of the call. And then you could join another meeting if you had one. So again, this is how you use Google Meet to join and participate in class virtually. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other resources.